Wednesday. Hi, guys. Uh, I laugh on Wednesday because on Wednesdays I wake up and I tell myself lots of jokes. That's what you do, isn't it? On a Wednesday. That's what everybody does, I'm sure. Uh, welcome. Hello, guys. Welcome along once again. It's the Play Days at Home with Mid-Sussex District Council and me, Tom Foodery. We've got a fun-packed day for you, but I thought I'd share with you a couple of my jokes. You ready for these? I think you're going to laugh. What do you call a dinosaur that's sleeping? A dino snore. <laughs> What's fast, loud, and crunchy? A rocket chip. <laughs> Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because it was stuffed. <laughs> what did the left eye say to the right eye? Between us, something smells. <laughs> Why did the pupil eat his homework? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> what did the Dalmatian say after it ate his lunch? That hit the spot. What do you call a droid that takes the long way round? An R2 detour. Uh, why was the six afraid of seven? Because seven ate nine. <laughs> what kind of water cannot freeze? <gasps> Hot water. What did the little corn say to the mama corn? Oh, where's popcorn? <laughs> How much does it cost for a pirate to get his ears pierced? More about a buccaneer. <laughs> How do you talk to a giant? Use big words. <laughs> What did one volcano say to the other volcano? I lava you. What's a tornado's favourite game to play? Twister! Uh, I think that might be enough jokes for one Wednesday. Maybe we'll do more of them next week. Guys, if you've got older brothers or sisters that are maybe over 10 years old, there's the virtual festival for those. They can take part in that at the Mid-Sussex District Council website as well. So get your grown-ups to point them over there for the virtual festival festival right so wednesday as our explorers is in two parts we've got the tree toppers the journey sticks they're going to be explaining and introducing you to going for walks in the adventure and exploring the outdoors and then for the older ones you've got the nature nurture the egg box scavenger hunt we're going to be collecting things throughout the week and then of course music bus are going to be doing a song with actions for you afterwards enjoy hello i'm suzanne and I'm from Tree Hoppers Forest Kindergarten in East Grinstead. So I run a nursery that's in the woods. So we're uh, out here all the time. And I'm really, really pleased to be working with Nick Sussex on their play days at home. Because we're outdoors all the time, we are very good at going on adventure walks. So I wanted to share with you just a few things that we do to make our walks a little bit more exciting. The first thing I wanted to talk to you you might have noticed that I'm wearing this crown. Really easy to do. And when you're going for a walk, it's really nice to have something to put all your treasures on. And then you can wear them. And you can become a king or a queen or a prince or a princess, whatever you like. So on my crown today, I've got a few different coloured leaves. But who knows what you might find? You might find a feather. You might find a nice leaf colours like that. Um, all sorts of things really. You might find a little bit of moss that you could put on. Stick it on. You don't really need anything too complicated. So, what do you need? If you've got some coloured card, that's great. If you haven't, don't worry. Because that's an old pizza box or a cereal box and then you can cut it up like that. You might want to do this before you go so you've got one prepared and then you need something to make it sticky, not glue really because that's not going to work on a walk but if you've got some double sided sticky tape, fantastic. And then you can put little strips on and when you're ready you can peel off the strips and stick things on like this so here's the leaf you can stick them on there but if you haven't got any double-sided tape don't worry because sellotape works just as well most people have got sellotape in their house haven't they so you might want to just get a bit of tape roll it over and stick it on like that. Now 
fucking fancy, so you've probably got all of these things in your house. And then the same thing, you can just stick things along the way. And then that could perhaps be maybe a bracelet, you could make a bigger one into a crown, like the one I'm wearing. So that's just one idea. And it's nice to have a little look at what you can see around you while you're out on your walk in the woods. Sometimes he comes to tree box too, to keep us company. But we also quite like to take our toy dogs out with us on a walk sometimes. Now, they probably will get a bit muddy and a bit dirty, but they can always go in the washing machine afterwards, can't they? So you can take a doggy. Now I've got a very big one here and he is a bit grubby because he's been for a walk. So find a bit of string. If you haven't got a lead for him, you can make a little one before you go out a bit of rope, a bit of wool, a bit of string, a bit around his neck, and then you can take him for a walk. We like to take our dogs for a walk. Everyone likes sticks. We love sticks at tree hoppers. They come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? You can find them anywhere in the woods. So, perhaps when you're out on a walk, find yourself a nice stick, not too long, um, one you can carry. Um, and there's a few other things that you might want to take with you. And then you could make one of these sticks like this. Okay, so what do you need? I don't know whether you might have some loom bands at home. I'm not sure people use those quite as much these days. Or some elastic bands like that. Perhaps a bit of wool or string. Elastic bands and loom bands, they work quite well though because they're quite easy for little fingers poke things through themselves. If you need wool or string, then you might need to ask your adult to tie them, not tie them on for you, or help you tie them on. So as you're going along, you can have a look and see what you can find. And at the start of your journey, see if you can find something wonderful to stick in the top. So I'm going to put this in here, I'm going to put this lovely red leaf, it's this side poke it in like that. And then as you're walking along, you can add to it. So you need to look really carefully. And take your time. Just don't want to go too fast because you might miss an important treasure. If you're really lucky, you might find a feather to put in it. So possibly the old daisy. Sunflowers you've got to be very careful of because we don't want to be picking wildflowers really, but the odd one or two, daisies or dandelions, that's fine. Um, what else? That's a bit of fern. I like to put different colour colour leaves in. Something like that. So as you're going along, you just add to it. It gives you something to do while you're walking just before you stop for those very important snack breaks. So at the end of it, you might end up with something like that. It could be a magic wand, couldn't it? Anything you like, really. So that's a good thing to do. We like having a stick. 
My name's Mel and I'm from Nature Nurture Sussex. I'm a forest school leader and it's my job to take children into the woods and show them how to make dens, build fires, learn about nature and have big adventures. Today I'm going to set you three challenges that you can have a go at when you're out and about with your family. Maybe you're planning a walk in the woods or in the park. If so, you can have a go at this and all you need is an egg box. You see egg boxes are a little bit like mini treasure chests. And they have six sections for six nature treasures. You could even customise your egg box by writing your name on the front or maybe drawing some woodland creatures. <laughs> To have a go at our first challenge, you need to paint some colours into the bottom of your egg box. I've got a selection of paint in colours that you might find in the woodland. I've got some black, some green, some red, some brown, a bit of white and some yellow. So there we go. When the paint's dried, you can take the box on a walk and find some nature treasures to match the colours. If you manage to find all the colours, then you could have a go at my next challenge. I'm going to give you six describing words. When you're out and about in the woods or in the park, see if you can find natural objects to match the describing words. You could write them down in the lid of your egg box, or you could ask a grown-up to take a screenshot. Can you find something soft, something hard, something spiky, something long, something round, and something beautiful? I had a go at this one last week with a group of children, and this is how we got on. We've had a really lovely walk, and as you can see, it's starting to rain now, so we found some shelter, and I'm just having a little look at the things the children have collected. I love seeing how they've interpreted the list of things. There's a piece of grass in here. And this was chosen as something beautiful. And as you can see, it is really quite beautiful. In this box, there's a piece of holly. And that was chosen for something spiky. They've got a really good collection of things here. And we might take those home and put them on the nature table. I expect you're ready for the last challenge. This is great for anybody that wants to learn more about the woodland. 
I want you to find the following leaves. A sweet chestnut leaf, a hazel leaf, a sycamore leaf, a silver birch leaf, an oak leaf, and a hawthorn leaf. You can write these down or you can get a grown-up to take a screenshot. If you're interested in learning more about how to identify the trees in the woods, then there's lots of information on the Woodland Trust website. Before you go out collecting things, there's a few things you should remember. It's best not to pick stinging nettles or brambles. They might sting you or scratch you. Foxgloves are great for the bees, but they can be harmful for us. The most important thing to remember is to not put anything in your mouth and to wash your hands before you eat anything. If you're really lucky, you might find an eggshell. These are fine to pick up and you might even be able to work out which bird hatched from it. However, if you ever find a bird's nest with eggs in that hasn't hatched, you must leave them alone. They could hatch into baby birds. We'll be sharing more activities over the next few weeks. If you find any good sticks when you're out and about, these might be helpful. Collecting pine cones is a really fun thing to do, and we'll be making things from these as well. We hope you have fun in the woods and we'll be back sharing more activities for Mid Sussex Play Days next week. Hello and welcome to Music Bus again. I'm Music Bus Maggie and here's Music Bus Eddie who says, Hello children, nice to see you. Now while we're doing our Play Days music specials, you're going to need a shaker and I'm going to show you the quickest shaker you can make. So I've got a bottle here and I've got some pasta. You know those bits, mummy, at the, the, the bottom of the bag that you never get to use. So I'm going to put some pasta into the bottle. Oh, can you already hear the shaking noise? And then I'm going to make my shaker. That's it. Then I'll screw the lid on and then you could maybe decorate yours, but I've already made a shaker. Can you hear it? And I'm going to shake it very high and shake it very low and shake it very high and shake it very low and stop. Oh, good job. So have you got your shaker? I'm going to teach you a song today that we do at Music Bus, which is ever such good fun, because we sing about all the different instruments, and then we make lots and lots of noise, and then we make a little bit of noise. So would you like to hear it? I'm going to turn my board around, because it's got the words on for the grown-ups, and each line is repeated. Each line is repeated, and it's ever so easy. So... I'm using my tambourine and then I might use my shaker as well. So, are you ready? We did a shake it very high and shake it very low. Okie doke. So, it goes now. Each line is repeated. So, let's go. Okay. 
me here. I'm back in my tambourine. Sit. Good job. crazy heart again, I don't really know why. Uh, but I have got my sticky stick, which I found on a scavenger hunt a very long time ago when I was actually really quite young. And I've had this stick ever since. It's not grown at all, you know. It stayed the same size all the time. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves today with all the adventures that you've been on. Uh, and a big thank you to everyone for taking part. So tomorrow is Thursday, and Thursday means it's our Circus Skills Day. And Katie from Poi Passion, who you may have seen do uh, live shows at the, uh, the actual fun days that we normally do in the summer with Miss Sussex District Council, she's going to be showing you how you can make yourself some juggling items that you can use just around the house. Now, I'm very lucky. I've got some professional juggling balls. That's because this is kind of what I do and I've been juggling for a very long time. It took me a very long time to practice, an awful lot of discipline, an awful lot of dropping them, but now look at me, I am a professional juggler. No. Yeah, uh, fortunately Katie from Poi Passion is a lot better than I am. <laughs> so you'll enjoy that tomorrow. Uh, thanks for joining us here, uh, Mid-Sussex Play Days at home. Enjoy the rest of your day guys, we'll see you tomorrow.